Hey guys, welcome to Kalita Vlogs, and I lied, I know I said I was doing a Hearthstone video for you today, but sorry, I forgot about Winter's Veil. So, uh, Winter's Veil. It started this past Monday, and it doesn't end until um, the morning of the 2nd of January, so you've got lots of time to do this achievement set. Um, it is, oops, it is kind of uh, a longer one, it requires 11, but, okay, so yeah, it's one of the longer ones, I guess. Some of them only require like six or eight um, but this one needs 11 you get the title merry maker um so we'll start at the top um i should note that the cities for these uh horde ogremar kind of par for now um alliance need to go to ironforge to get most of this done um so on metzen save metzen the reindeer so find your little find where grandfather winter is you can grab a quest in any of the major cities um what the heck is going on you can grab a quest in any of the major cities um, from the commoners that are celebrating and sorry Blinktron ah, stuff um, you can grab a quest from any of the commoners and they will direct you to the person that you need to go talk to what I get oh I got a pet did I have him already I do oh well, it's okay I can sell that hopefully um, so you can do that um, <clears throat> and then there's Grandfather Winter, as you can see in this one. Um, and you grab, for on Metzen, you grab the quest from one of the goblins, and it's it's just a daily. Um, and you don't have to do any particular quests or anything um, beyond it. I think you can just grab the daily, and you just fly to... Oh, ah, come on now. You fly to Hillsbrad, and you go here, and you have to f kill the Grinch, free the reindeer, and then grab the stolen tree. Once you do that, um, you hand that in, and then you'll get a quest to go talk to Grandfather Winter. Um, so yeah, all the, only thing, the only thing you need to do for that achievement is just to complete the daily. Um, the next one is Scrooge, which is to throw a snowball at Murid and Bronzebeard during the fifth. So go to your faction leader um, for the area, I guess, except that for... So for Alliance, it's Bronze Spirit, who's in Iron Forge. Horde, you need to throw it at Bloodhoof, which is in who is in Thunderbluff. Um, so wherever the leader sits in either of those cities. Uh, Tis the season. Wear three pieces of winter clothing and eat Graku minces, Graku's mincemeat fruitcake. So there are um, two ways you can get the fruitcake. Um, you can either buy it for, uh, depending on your reputation with goblins, um, you can buy it for 89 gold, what, I think it caps out at 99 gold. What the hell? Okay, uh, sorry, it caps out at 99 gold, I'm pretty sure. 99 gold, 99 silver. Um, maybe 99 copper, I don't remember, but um, you can buy it that way. Or, um, once you finish the um, daily, the next day you will get a gift from Grandfather Winter. And it's a uh, oh, I'm trying to remember. Um, I don't remember what the package is called, but you get it in the mail. You actually have to go and get it in the mail, and you get a little present. You get a bunch of food, um, and you are guaranteed to get one of the mincemeat fruitcakes. So this is what the item looks like. There we go. The smoke you a extra special, extra special gift is how you can get it. Um, colors don't matter for the set. Um. But you need to wear one, either the red or green hat, the red or green winter clothes, and then the boots. Um, the hats you get from various dungeon and raid bosses, I will go through which ones to get them from where, and they are bind on pickups, so you can find them on the auction house. Um, the clothes you get from tailors, they can make green or red, and they, uh, they aren't even bind on equip, so you can find those on the auction house. And the boots are the same, but you get them from a leather worker. Now for the hats... Um, the red ones you can get from Jagoda Shadow Seeker, who is a boss in the dungeon on Kahet, which is in Dragonblight. Um, you can go to, you can get it from Grand Magus, Grand Magus Telestra, who's in the Nexus, which is in Borean Tundra. Uh, Korla Hand of Twilight is a boss in Blackrock Caverns, which is in Blackrock Mountain, in between Searing Gorge and Burning Steps. Uh, High Priestess Azil is from the Stone Core, which I think is in Deep Home. Uh, Admiral, Rip Snarl from, Admiral Rip Snarl from Dead Mines is in Westfall. Uh, and General Nazgren in Siege of Ogomar, which is the new raid in this expansion. 
Uh, that's for the red hat. The green hat is a lot more rare. Um, you can get it, and the reason I say it's more rare is because it only drops from four bosses. Um, the red one drops from six. But again, it doesn't matter, so you can have mix match, you can have all red, you can have all green, it does not matter. But in case you really want the green one, um, you can get it from Mage Lord Urum in Oculus. Uh, Draga Shadow Burner from Grim Batol. I'm trying to think. Oculus is in. Uh, it's in. It's by where the Nexus is in Borean Tundra and Koldara. Uh, Grim Bat Draga Sh Shadow Burner is in Grim Batol, and that is in Twilight Highlands. Uh, Lord Godfrey is in Shadow Fang Keep, and that, I believe, is in Terrace Fall Glades. Actually, we will check that one right now. No, that's not right. I want Terrace Fall. Scarlet Monastery. Oh, I lied. It must be in Silver Pine. Yeah, there's Shadow Keep. So it's in Silver Pine. Yeah, of course, that makes more sense. Um, and then the... That's a lot of achievements. Um, the last one is it drops off Galakia um, in Siege of Ogamar also. Um, so that's it for that one. And then all you have to do is just make... Um, if you've had the items before, but you haven't managed to collect all of them, when you do this, make sure um, that you heal up. Like, when you equip the items, go to a repair vendor and make sure that your items are not at zero with durability apparently it can bug out and you will not get credit if you eat the fruitcake um when your items are at zero with durability so put them on repair them and then eat the fruitcake and it doesn't matter where you can do it anywhere that'll get you the achievement uh let it snow you need to throw a handful of snowflakes on each of the race class combinations listed below um you get the snowflakes from uh you can you can turn snowballs into them um, and you can grab them from vendors. Oh, no, sorry. You, I'm sorry, that's the something else. Uh, you get them from slash kissing the revelers or... Um, what's the other one? The revelers... Yeah, you slash kiss the winter revelers, which are in inns all over Azeroth. Anywhere. Anywhere in Azeroth. They're all in the inns. Um, and you can get uh, mistletoe, you can get holly, or you can get snowflakes as well. Um, and you need... So you need to do Orc Death Knight, Torn Shaman, um, Undead Rogue, No Mage, Blood Elf Warlock, Human Warrior, Night Elf Druid, uh, Troll Hunter, Dwarf Pally, and Paladin, and Draenei Priest. Um, I would recommend going to Dalaran to do this because there are several achievements that require... There's one achievement that requires you to be in Dalaran or, again, my default is always do Battlegrounds. That's the easiest way to do this one. Um, the Winter Veil Gourmet. You need to cook all three of these. The recipes you get from quests, or you can buy, you can, no, you get them from presents in the mail, you can get them from the Winter Veil presents, or you can just go and buy them, they're not that expensive. Again, one of the two vendors that are from Smoky Wood Pastures. Um, for each of them, I will open them up here. The Gingerbread Cookie. You need one small egg and holiday spices. Hollywood spice, holiday spices you buy from the vendor, small egg. Um, are really expensive on the auction house right now. Just go find some really, really low-level birds and they will drop them almost guaranteed. The item level is five. Um, and this requires, the cookies require uh, only level one cooking, or skill one of cooking, I should say. Uh, Wintervale eggnog. You need ice-cold milk. You need a small egg. You need holiday spirits and holiday spices, which you get from the vendor. Um, ice-cold milk you can buy from any innkeeper. Um... And that one requires cooking skill 35. And then apple cider, hot apple cider. You need sparkling apple cider, holiday spirits, and holiday spices, which you get from the vendors, but you need cooking 325 to do it. Um, but if you manage to get the pilgrim achievement, you've already got the cooking skill and you're fine, I'm pretty sure. Um, but the good news is there's a very quick way to level up your cooking, which I kind of talked about in the pilgrim one, but I'll mention it again. Um, if you go to Pandaria, and you go to the half hill area where the farming stuff is, there is a cooking trainer that will help you power level your cooking essentially. And you use um, very basic ingredients that you can buy and very basic fish that are the default ones that you catch when you have low level fishing in Pandaria. Um, and you can easily get to a higher level uh, Pandaria starter cooking, which was 525 without difficulty. Uh, a frosty shake. So grab your Wintervale disguise kit, which you get from a quest line, I am pretty sure. And you become a snowman, then dance with another snowman in Dalaran. Again, Dalaran. Dalaran and Shatrath are the places to be for a lot of these achievements. Uh, with a little helper from my friends. So you can go to 
You need to use the Winter Wondervolt machine. Uh, Alliance and Horde. Uh, each have a bunch, but the best one I will tell you to go to, um, Alliance, go to the Storm, the, go to Stormwind, and the little ramp before you go up the, before the ramp to go up to the Flight Master in the Trade District, ah, uh, there's one there. Horde, yours is right beside the Flight Master in Ogrimmar. Um, and then get 50 honorable kills, so again, just queue up for, uh, Battleground. Um, and I think if you die, you lose the buff, so be prepared to run a few, but the good news is if, it's, what's the battleground this weekend coming up? Oh, it's a new one. I, oh, Strand of the Ancients. That one's not too bad, and uh, Isle of Conquest, Deep and Gorge. Right now, it's Temple. Yeah, the AV is like the perfect one, Alterac Valley, but, um, just go and queue up and you will be fine. And the next one, um, fa la 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 ogri la. Um, the bomb them again. It says quest. It's actually a daily, and it's kind of annoying. Um, I briefly talked about how to do this, I think, in one of my lore master ones or my reputation ones, but I will show you how to quick- I will kind of explain how to quickly do it. Um, you need to do this daily while on a flying reindeer, which you can get from Fresh Holly, um, which turns your mountain to a reindeer. Um, and you can either get the holly- you can get the holly from Slash Kissing Winter Revelers, or you can get, uh, Preserved- Preserved Holly, which you get from the presents. So if you want to do this after Christmas, you can definitely do it that way. Now, um... To do this quest, you need to go to Outland. You go to Blade's Edge and you go to Ogrila. And just north of Ogrila is the another couple set of dailies, and one of them is called Bomb Them Again. Um, as far as I know, they changed it so you don't need to go to uh, do any quests leading up to it. You can just go and grab the daily. And then you need to move. You will get an item, a bomb, and you need to. I know it shows up in the little quest log now. Put it on your action bar. You will something that has a number you will not regret this um because if you can do it in under two minutes you will also get or under three minutes you will also get another achievement so you're going to move it to your action bar let's say we're putting it on five so you're going to go to either forge camp wrath or forge cap terror i usually go to wrath because it's closer but it really doesn't matter and you need to bomb the stockpile of weapons and they've got little uh hunter's mark kind of icons right over top of them and you're going to press five and you're gonna click and then press five immediately again. And you're gonna, so you're gonna press five, let's say where the item is. So again, we said five for this one, press five. And then the little area of effect item on your mouse is gonna show up, have it over. And then as soon as you click your mouse to bomb that, you're gonna hit five again, so you'll get double and it's gonna make it go by really fast and then click another one. And then it'll have a three second cooldown. And then just fly around, try not to get hit by the uh, cannons that are going off. Cause if they hit you hard enough, they have, do have a chance to dismount you. And just fl keep flying around and keep going as quickly as you can and then make sure your mount is a reindeer. Excuse me. This one you can take your time. There is no time restriction on this to get the achievement, but if you want the other one, you can always... If you want the other achievement, you can try and do it. I think it's in under two minutes, but I'm not sure. So I will check. Uh, reputations. No. Quests. Outland. Two minutes, 15 seconds. Okay. So you can track that and try and do it, but... It's not super difficult. Um, again, if you use that little tidbit I just gave you, it goes by way faster. And... Where are we here? Merrymaker. Okay. Uh, simply Abominable. So, this is to retrieve the stolen treats. That's the medicine daily. And then the next day you get the Smoky Wood Pastures. Thank you. I'm pretty... Yeah, you get it after the... No, this is the one, sorry. You, uh... You get the quest immediately after doing the daily, and you talk to Grandfather Winter, and you get the thank you gift. So that one, super, super easy. Uh, bros before ho-ho-hos. So, you need to do use mistletoe on the Alliance Brothers, and then Horde, you need to do it on the Horde ones. Um, so, Alliance... You have eight. Horde, you get three. So, again, you're kind of getting off easy. But, 
I will do the Horde ones first because there aren't as many. So the first one is Malak in Undercity. And he is in the War Quarter. Coordinates are 51-22. So right about here. Um, the next one is Wolf Brother. And he is in Warsong Hold in Borean Tundra. Coordinates are 40-55. And then Kilton. He is on, in Ice Crown. Oh, that's an Ice Crown. On the Horde airship. So it patrols right in here. Um, and he patrols the top deck. And then for this, again, for this achievement, all you need to do is uh, use Mistletoe. And you get the Mistletoe from... Uh, slash kissing the revelers. You can get the holly, you can get the mistletoe, you can get the snowflakes. So alliance, we have eight. Good news is most of them are in Stormwind. So, oh, come on, smart note. So uh, the ones in Stormwind, I've got a list here in front of me. Sorry. So there's Kristoff, brother Kristoff is by the fountain in in front of cathedral, in front of the cathedral in Cathedral Square. Benjamin is inside the cathedral. So is Joshua. So is Cassius. So is Crawley. Then when you're done there, fly outside of Stormwind. Oh, frack. Go to Goldshire and talk to Brother Wilhelm. His coordinates are 4166, which is right in, it's in there. You can't, he's just there. Just look for him. Um, then you go to no Upper Stormwind. No. Northern Stranglethorn. There we go. That's the word I'm looking for. Upper Storm. What the heck am I thinking? And you go to Rebel Camp. And you will find Brother Nemetz at 4711. He's just right in there in Rebel Camp. There aren't any houses. He's just out there. And then the last one is Carmen, who is in Dust Wallow Marsh, which is... I know where this is. In Kalimdor, is it not? Yes. No, that's Thousand Needles. There we go. Um, and he's right in Theramore. Uh, at 6747. I think he's in the well, it's kind of demolished now, so I'm not entirely sure where he is, but um, he's in Theramore. And I just bugged.